now. Actress Danica McKellar is pursuing her passion. The actress also happens to be a math whiz. Gee whiz. And she wants girls to feel comfortable with numbers. She's going to tell us all about that. She's an author. Kelly, good to see you. Good to see you, too. So this is, were you always interested in math growing up? You know, I really struggled with math in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I hit a stumbling block, and I was terrified. I used to cry, and I was freaked out. And I had a couple of really good teachers um, pull me through it, and so I want to give that to girls now. This is your second book about math. It is. Why, why do you think it's so important to, to break down the mystique for math for girls? Well, math has a lot of bad PR for girls and boys. I mean, let's face it, a lot of kids think that if you're good at math, you're going to be a nerd. Mm -hmm. um, but especially girls are told in every way, shape, and form, billboards, magazines, you name it, that the most important thing for them is to be pretty. Mm -hmm. And I want to say, that's fine, that's fine. Nothing you know, wrong being with that. fabulous is, is great, but the most important part of being fabulous is being smart and you can develop that by learning things like math and and you you want math to be a, 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 in, a, in a sense people like they speak speak french they speak spanish this is a language it is a language and math isn't always taught as a language and it needs translation and so i translate the math in terms that girls are thinking about like popularity and boys and just things that are fun to read about. I wrote a book that I wish that I'd had when I was 12 and 13 years old. And in fact, from the book, you address the issue of girls being intimidated by math. You say, so you studied, you weren't sure how well you did, but then the test gets handed back to you, and yikes, stomach curls up, blood drains <laughs> from the face. We've all been there. Yes, me too. Breathe. It's okay. I'm going to give you a new perspective. And to be perfectly honest, that could describe me when I was, <laughs> when I was in school. But, yeah. but, but everybody needs to know that's okay. It's a, math is a real problem, and, and you know, it's okay to stumble. Part of what I teach is that at attacking something that's challenging is going to make you stronger. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I want to give girls no matter what they want to do. Yes, I want to inspire the next generation of mathematicians, but more importantly, I want girls to have that confidence that comes from feeling smart. Well, let's inspire the next generation of mathematicians. Anne and Amy <laughs> are sure. going to I'm come over here. Sorry. Yes. I think maybe you're the next you've, generation. You've got a couple of <laughs> problems for us. Okay. okay. Oh. So math is a great brain sharpener, mm -hmm. right, no matter what mm -hmm. age you are. And this is a a little brain teaser okay. for you. Mm -hmm. So this is an untrue statement, of course, right? Mm -hmm. Four yeah. does not equal one plus two plus three. No. But imagine if these are matches. If you can move one match to another spot, and you can only move things on this side to mm -hmm. make this entire thing a true statement, how would you do it? What would you move? Oh. The one. The one, the, the third one over. No. I would you I would move this one here because that would be five and then that well, would be Well almost five. except then you have a plus sitting here with nothing to do, but that's a good oh, idea. Ah. Now think about that for a moment for a moment. I want to teach I want to teach you something else. It's called a distributive property. Mm -hmm. This is unrelated, but this is if you're standing in line waiting to pay for your items at a store. Okay. You don't want to get overcharged. Sure. And sometimes, like when I was shopping last Christmas, I found this great top for six of my friends. It was a great deal for it, thirty eight bucks. And I wanted to know how much I was gonna have to pay when I got to the front, because right. I was right. standing a long line, what better to do? But I didn't want to multiply 6 times 38. Right. Well, the distributive property says that you can split that up into 40 minus 2 right. and multiply each separately. Right. Oh, and so right. I got the answer. And right. I did okay. the same thing with tax. Instead of multiplying times 0 0.8, I did 10% and 2%. Figured it out. And sure enough, when I got to the well, front, he okay. rang me up twice for one of the items. <gasps> oh. And you got and you money. Saved. So, so, so math not only sharpens your brain, but can you save money. you money. Right. <laughs> and and this, this one? And this one, um, yep. there are a few solutions. My favorite is to take this one. Move it from here and create a plus sign. Oh, yes. I would have that. Would there have you go. never done it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Smart. And if but my math learning. teacher had looked like you, <laughs> we, you maybe been he would have paid more attention. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have. <laughs> Again, the book is <laughs> Kiss My Math, showing pre-algebra who's boss. Danica McKellar, thank you so much. Thank you for You're having me. Awfully nice having you. <laughs> Coming up next, gifts for you.